Hi, Sneaky Linux back, and tonight we're looking at a Debian 5, or Lenny. I'll put it with the LXDE desktop. Runs nice, and as you might notice here, you don't get a lot with it. Get GIMP, get Login Manager, get Ice Weasel, and OpenOffice, and that's it. But that's what only comes with the first CD. I think there's up to 20 CDs to download if you want the full system, but just download the first one, and we'll go from here. As there's no synaptic, we're going to have to use command line. So we type apt hyphen get space install, and first we're going to install. What are we going to do? Nice and easy. Yeah, the usual happy word. So click enter. Let's read the dependencies. Do we want to download it? Of course we do. So Y for yes. Smack enter. And it'll start downloading for us. Now, don't be afraid of the terminal window. It is your friend at the end of the day. If you can just, just learn the basic commands. Then on the Debian here, it's apt, get, then the command itself, and then whatever you want it to do. There are a couple of sites that give you what they're for. So if you want to have a quick look at it, that'd be cool. Or if nobody does, I'll do it at a later date, and we'll go from there. But anyway, it's extracting a template for every word now. It doesn't take too long. I mean, you could actually install all the apps you wanted via the command line without actually doing anything else. But bearing in mind, there's 20 CDs or 7 DVDs, I think, for Lenny. That's an awful lot of information. So basically, just get the first one and install what you want to install. So anyway, if you install Abbey Word, we go back to Office, and there Abbey Word is. Navi Jabbly. looks good to me. I'm not going to go to save as, I'll just go to the help section. About every word. Click on there. 264, that's the most current. So that's good for me. Now for those of you who are going, oh dear, I don't really want to use command line or terminal. We'll do something really simple for you, which will mean using terminal one more time. So, we put in apt get space install synaptic and I can hear a big sigh of relief from some people there let's read now packages dependency tree do we want to download it? of course we do because some of you just are not comfortable using the terminal so we hit Y there Hit enter, woof, down we start going. Doesn't take too long. I think it takes about 20 seconds. But if you wanted to continue using the terminal, it's a good way to learn the basic Linux. I do advise it, although you may be frightened it to start with. But if you've got an old machine you can practice on, even better. So there we go, we're downloaded. Unpacking our packages, etc, etc. Just takes a little while while it installs everything that we need. Which ain't too long really, is it? You'll probably recognise quite a lot of these things it's doing anyway. If you've done Linux before, or Ubuntu, or any Debian based distro, which there are loads of. <coughs> Excuse me. Reading our database. And within a few clicks, there we go. We have Synaptic. Yippee, I hear you cry. So we can come out of terminal now. And we go down to a menu down here. At some stage. If we go up to system tools, you'll find Synaptic Package Manager. Or Manager even. Now most of you will be very familiar with this, as it's in an awful lot of distros, or Synaptic based. As you can see, never done this before, so it wants to reload. So I'll click reload so we get all the new apps that are actually on it. It's done all that for us. I'm going to make it bigger for you. There we go. Find our packages. And there we go. Look. Millions and millions and trillions. 
It says at the bottom there there's 22,326. That's not just programs, that's actually stuff you actually need to run some programs. So if you go to World Wide Web, for instance, you can go down there. You might want a different browser, etc. IceWeezer is default, it is a Firefox offshoot. And I think you can put Firework, Firefox, should I say, on Debian, but it doesn't come in the repositories. Which is a bit of a bummer if you like Firefox. But I find is quite good anyway. We'll go to multimedia. There we go. Audacious there, look at that. Rhythm box isn't actually here. So I thought I'd go for a little small one. Audacious would be good for us. Plays MP3s, orgs, AACs, flex, Windows Media, etc etc. Doesn't you can take a lot of plugins with it. So we're going to click there, mark for installation. It needs quite a bit of other stuff to go with it. So that's good for me. Apply them changes. Needs about 6 mega stuff. Apply again. And we start downloading 48 packages in total. So I'll skip that a little bit to get through that. Make the video a bit smaller. Applying changes and installing software. Thank you, Dory. Almost there. And we're done. So now we can click close. And eventually it does come up. He said. There we go. So that's basically audacious install email clients. Right. You can't have Thunderbird from the repository here, but if you come down, you can have Ice Dove, which is the equivalent, same as Ice Weasel, is the equivalent for Firefox. Or Claws Mail, even if you really wanted to. So quickly scroll down, load stuff, keep going, keep going and going and going. GNU Mail, that's a new one on me. Uh, based on apples, okay. But hey, you can have it if you want to. Uh, anyway, I used to have. And it comes with all the support that you would get with Thunderbird anyway, with languages, etc. Hey, we're going to come out of that as we're nearly finished. This is just part one. I'll do a part two when I've actually set the system up, but that's how you use command line in Debian Lenny. And I'm going to use the system until I get on with it. Hope you like it. Come back soon. Sneak Linux out.